Akashic records, internal knowledge, ancient knowledge, tapping into amazing uh, antique sort of past knowledge. It looks like a little whale with water spouting out of it. Um, if we look at it like a fish, it can also be an indication of money. So I feel like there's going to be money and love. Love and money, luck coming in for a lot of you this weekend moving forward. Down here we have a lady lying down and there's a playful kitten next to her. There's a little face of a little kitten here and there's a lady lying down here. It reminds me of something from maybe those of you who are in the Middle East. You might be going through Ramadan, you might be relaxing a lot, lying down, sleeping a lot. You could be, uh, it's like a bit of a caftan, it looks like a lady lying down. There's also a face, it did look to me like a kitten, like a playful kitten, but now it's looking like a child with dark hair. And there's another little face next to it, which I feel is a little kitten. So it looks to me more like a playful kitten. Sometimes cats can be jealousy gossip and somebody being sneaky or pretending to be a friend, like a frenemy. Uh, around you, somebody to be aware of, but it could be somebody that is very close to you, but they could have a jealous streak is what I'm feeling. I don't feel it's anything like a hidden enemy or a secret enemy. We also have a dolphin here. You can see the dolphin's fin popping up there, the dolphin's fin, and dolphins are playfulness moving forward. Something from the past is coming back with this dolphin. So I feel like somebody maybe that you were acquainted with in the past could be coming back for like a second round, like a play, like passion, love, passion, sex, something like that, coming back in around you this weekend or in this particular uh, episode, you could say, is what I'm getting, episode. I'm also getting the word two-headed dragon. This could be somebody who sort of presents themselves as a Jekyll and Hyde. I'm also getting something here with this eclipse. We've definitely got the eclipse coming up. I'm going to do some eclipse readings this week coming, moving forward. Got some eclipse. So there could be something significant coming up on the eclipse around the 24th, 25th. But a lot of you could actually be already feeling it earlier than later. Earlier than later. It looks like a moon, moon here eclipsing out. I'm just going to have a closer look here at the bottom. Oh, there's an also... On this side, there's another lady lying down. There's another lady lying down here on this side. She's also got two children above her there, two children or faces. It looks like this lady's lying down here. She's taking it easy, relaxing. Some of you might be going on vacation, if that's the case. Some of you might be pregnant or getting pregnant. There's a little rabbit here, skinny rabbit. But some of you might be getting pregnant. Rabbits are often pregnancy. Some of you might be getting pregnant with twins. You've got two heads here that are very closely connected. Two heads are better than one, as I say. Let me have a double check around the edge. I've got like a, a P initial, an R initial as well. I also saw an Aries symbol in the cup before. I'm getting the word galaxy. Some of you might be wanting to go to a different galaxy or exploring different galaxies or doing something in a writing about galaxies or fantasy or doing some sort of fantasy novel if you're a writer. I've got two eyes here at the bottom of the cup. There's two little eyes there. So I feel like these two eyes are protective. I feel like they're some sort of help or protection or guidance. And it also comes in with the two heads are better than one. There's a lot of twos here. There's two women lying down, two children here, two heads here as well. There's a heart here, one heart. There's one dolphin. There's one whale. There's one cat. And there's a little, and there's a playful kitten. So there's two. There's one rabbit. V also is in there. V, Victor, Victoria. Veronique. Let 
me see if there's any other letters or symbols. Getting mountains, two mountains here. So some of you might be going towards the mountains or feeling like you've overcome a big achievement, overcome something big. Also mountains to me represent Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn, uh, something to do with the career, overcoming obstacles, achievements. There's two mountains here. So you might have be in the middle of these two mountains or kind of finishing two big projects or feeling like you've overcome two big obstacles. Or achievements. Okay. If anyone else sees anything in the cup, you're most welcome to do a shout out. I'll give you a zoom in, focus, see if there's anything that jumps out to you there. I'll move on to the saucer, then we're going to do the wish for the collective. Okay. Saucer. This can be the family of origin, the people around you, where you live, your neighborhood, your home, your house, the people in your house, something depicting those people. There's a teardrop here on the side. So there could be somebody here crying or tears of joy, tears of sorrow. There could be some loss also with the two ladies lying down. There could be somebody might have lost someone like a relative, a grandmother, somebody could be around you in spirit who you're connecting with, somebody who's already passed over that you're aware of, or there could be uh, somebody that you know of who is close to passing. I don't like to predict death, but that is something that's coming up there. Um, there is another little bunny here, or a rabbit, so it's another pregnancy. This person or people who have passed over might come back and re reincarnate or reincarnation into a baby that you're having. Pregnancy is often with a rabbit. There's a lady's face here and she looks like she's focusing on something really strongly. It's like she's really focusing on something. She's keeping her eye on the prize, focusing on something very strongly. Looks like her hair is also flying in the wind. It also looks like she's kissing somebody actually. The ma There's a man here. He could also have long hair or wear a hat or a cap. And there's someone behind him too. So he could have lost somebody. He could have recently let someone go. Can also be a man holding a child or a woman even holding a child. There's a bit of a ponytail here. He might have long hair, but I do feel it's more of a masculine energy. But there could be a kiss here between a man and a woman or a man and a child. There's a rocket here, so something's gonna launch off can be also a phallic symbol, energy, uh, somebody attractive energy, passionate energy. Getting a V here as well. Getting an H, Helen. Another V, Veronica. A V and a V is a W as well. I'm getting an I, Ignacio. India, Irene, I'm getting a horse here. There's something here coming back from the past. I feel like there's action here from somebody in the past coming back because the horses are always action. So there's horse here coming back into your life or somebody from the past coming back in. Somebody could be coming back into the home. Let's see if there's anything else that jumps out. It's a little mouse there. Mice are often very busy. And there's a mountain of stuff they're looking at here as well. So I feel like this mouse is also chewing on this mountain of food. So I feel like there's going to be more abundance here and more. There's busyness, but there's also abundance. So whatever you're doing is actually working in your favor. It's actually coming about in your favor. Let me do a wish here for the collective. Wish for the success of the collective, done with the intention of it meaning something to everybody watching this video. Thank you once again for all coming in, liking, subscribing and sharing. I truly appreciate it. Let's see what the wish holds for everyone underneath. If there's anything at all, let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's actually clear. It's very, very clear. There's a little spot in the middle, though. Could be an island. You might have to isolate something or feel like you might go to an island. There could be something also connected to South, South America or Africa. There's a continent here connection. There's also a, a little bit of uh, a fish here swimming down. So some of you might go to the bottom of the ocean to find a jewel or a fish or money or something good. Some of you might have to go swimming to find what you're looking for. Some of you might have to go the distance or you feel like something is a little bit out of your reach, but it could actually be found here. So the fish is coming in and that's always a good sign of luck and money, the fish there just here on the side. Anything else we need? I also can see like a soft toy. So I definitely feel like some of you get, will be pregnant, have children around you or having more children in your life coming in. It could be through a different person or could be doing something with plush toys or soft toys or getting a gift of a soft toy or having more... Um, sort of plush surroundings and luxuries or comforts around you can be also indicated with uh, a plush toy. So I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. So welcome back, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.